Today we're going to do a French ancient metalworking technique called repousse. It means to drive back or forward in a relief, meaning we're going to be engraving in the front and you could flip it over and push it out on the other side and you'll have an indented and raised relief surface. This is an ancient technique that's been used for thousands of years. Let's give it a try. So for my friends in school, we're going to use foil, thick, heavy aluminum. And my friends at home, you can use the aluminum foil that comes to cover your food. Repousse. Repousse is the ancient art technique of working with metal. It's a French word meaning driven back and raising others to create a relief. Do you see the raised design in the great plate of Bacchus, the Roman plate that you see here? Look at the designs. Here's an example of the golden mask from Colombia. You see Repousse in King Tut's golden mask. Look at the gilded copper repousse from Tibet in the 16th century. Repousse was used in altar vessels like you would see in this Syrian design. And here's one of the biggest repousses that I know of, the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor. The repousse was created in France and then delivered to New York. Sculptors would use hammers and chisels to make the relief sculpture of the repousse. These next examples are done by students. Look at the details in the repousse. So you can choose either side, the copper side or the silver side, to, you, to do your repousse. Again, if you're doing this from home, you use a regular aluminum foil that's in your kitchen cupboard. To do your design, you need something to lean on, like a pad or a book that's soft, or magazines or newspaper. Now I have your newspaper here. So I want to use the copper side, and I'm going to design a, a, a design where I fill up the space, the negative and positive space, and I can start by just drawing right on the metal. Find a way to make it interesting where I can follow across the whole square. Okay, it doesn't have to be like mine, you make your own, of course, but you're going to build off of what you started with. You can do organic shapes, you can do lines and textures, and you really want to incorporate patterns. So maybe in this space, I can indent with circles or dots just by pressing with the pencil. And be very, very careful. The edge of the metal, even the aluminum foil, can be very sharp. And I know by the end of this, I will have little tiny cuts. So now I have this started and I'm gonna flip it over and I want to add a deeper indentation on the other side of this leaf shape. Just like that. I'm gonna flip it back over, look at that, isn't that wild? I'm gonna exaggerate these lines that I started by just pressing it on the opposite side. So I am creating a deeper relief in my design. And that's where the word repousse comes from. It's a French word for relief. Relief means to raise on a surface. It's like a sculpture has a relief. If you can touch it and it, you can feel the bumps on the surface. So you can have a lot of fun with this. 
I've been waiting since last year to do this project. I bought this material for you guys to do last year, but COVID happened and we couldn't do it. So now we're finally getting to do it. I'm gonna flip that over. So I wanna fill up the entire square with lines and patterns and textures to create a nice relief design. And then we're going to take this, we're going to attach it to a piece of paper and we're going to use materials to continue the design similar to what you saw in the examples. See how that raised? Now I can go back and I can push it in further if I wanted to or leave it. Okay, let's see what you come up with. So be very careful not to press too hard with the pencil when you're doing your incising or in your repose because sometimes if you press too hard, you'll make a hole like I did right there. I don't know if you can see it. But just be careful because you don't want to rip it. Keep it intact. Okay? And this is what I came up with. So I did it on the foil. It came out nice. You just have to be very careful when you are doing your repousse that you don't press too hard. And I found that if I held my pencil sideways, it tore it. If I hold it straight up and down, it seemed to work better. This is the end of part one. This week, I only want you to do the repousse on the foil. Next week, we will do the lesson for the background. Put your foil repousse in a safe place so that we can use it next week. Have fun creating your repousse.